Hi, so this is a video for the girls, for the women in my audience or who are first watching this video, for those who struggle with female friendships. For those of you who are watching this video for the first time, my name is Alex, I am 25 years old, and this video, alongside all my other videos, are journals of self-reflection and journals about my life and the things I struggle with and just sharing them to the world. So if you're a woman and struggle with female friendships, this video is for you. So I wanted to talk a little bit about my high school experience and how that made me uh, scared of women. <laughs> I don't know if this is like a universal uh, experience, but I'm gonna share my perspective anyway. If you relate, all the better. So in high school, I was very much like a tomboy. I didn't wear anything girly. I was very insecure about myself and my femininity. So I was very tomboy-esque. And because I played video games, most of my friendships were with guys because it was easy. You could just play video games and you become friends with guys so, so, so easily. And I had a hard time relating with women, so it was the easiest choice, I guess you could say. But what I quickly found out is that most men, most guys, uh, at least in high school, uh, had an alternative agenda. Uh, they expected more from me. They had hopes of uh, dating me, being with me, sleeping with me, rather than actually connecting with me deeply. And that is the mistake I made because I would open up to guys, I would, you know, be vulnerable things that you would do in your female friendships, except that they would often take it as though it was hitting on them or that I wanted to be with them, even though I never would disclose that I was interested in that way. And that was the mistake I made. They didn't really care much about me as a consciousness, as a human being, and it was more so about satisfying them and you know I get it because we were in high school and I realized that lack of intimacy that I wanted with my friendships can only be had really with women but at the time women scared me I mean they still do <laughs> honestly I still get scared by some women their their confidence their candor their the way they dress the way they present themselves it always i always felt small even though i i know i shouldn't it always made me feel small when i got into college that's when i made my first real female friendships and they really meant the world to me because finally I had people I could be open and intimate with without constantly thinking if they want to fuck me. <laughs> and it was nice, you know? Part of me still felt nervous because sometimes, you know, between women, something that's really common between female friendships is jealousy and gossiping and stuff like that. And not just them to me, but also me to them. It's just kind of like that energy that happens. So I would end up in situations where I would become envious of another woman and they would become envious of me. And that's not with all of my female friendships, just with a few who are no longer in my life anymore. But I realized how important these friendships are to have another woman completely understand you wholeheartedly because they've also experienced some of the similar things. 
like having somebody by your side that just gets you on a very subconscious level. So I made a video a week ago talking about summer nights and being lonely. And part of me was actually talking about female friendships and that crave for a squad or a group of women that you can just relate with. And part of me wishes I had that, you know? Part of me wishes I had women I could talk to more in-depthly, more deeply, more intimately. Women that would value me for who I am and women that I could value for who they are. That we could talk about the most fucked up, deep, intimate things, yet still love each other. Would love to have friendships like that with this level of depth and intimacy that can only be curated through friendships with women. And I think that's what I, I struggle with the most because women terrify me. They really do. Like, I terrify myself, as I'm sure many women are terrified of me too. Now that not only men and women are lonelier than ever, we lack that intimacy and that depth. And you know, maybe that can't be found in groups of friends or groups of women or groups of men. But I wish I had that. I wish I just had that, those like friends that you know you're gonna have for life. Part of me just feels a little sad, you know? Because I wish I had that intimacy and that depth where I could feel understood and loved and just do all of the things that I love doing with, with those friends. Maybe not go out to clubs and stuff like that, but like, you know, play games, um, go out to museums, go paint, go travel, uh, go to bars, just hang out with those friends with those groups of girls. I think those of us who feel lonely have just a hard time socializing in general. And so I think it's just about putting yourself out there as much as you can and to meeting as many people as you possibly can. And eventually you meet the people kind of like you. And maybe you haven't met them yet. I struggle with female relationships, just like I struggle with male friendships too. It's hard to discern in male friendships if they are there because they really care about you as a person or because they want to fuck you and they're just waiting for their turn. And with women it's hard to tell if they're talking about you behind your back or they're jealous. But I think that those risks, especially being friends with women, that risk is one that is easy to make. Because you might find out that in fact, that person that you thought might be against you is actually your number one fan. On that same vein, you can realize that they were actually against you all along. I want to get better at forming female relationships, female friendships, and I would love to meet like that group of friends. It would be quite amazing if that is possible, or maybe I'm just imagining something that isn't real. But if you're a woman and you struggle with making friends in general, or having female friendships, or feeling like you're misunderstood, you're not alone, because I feel misunderstood every day, all the time. And if you're the type of person that, ha that loves to have long-winded talks about nothing and everything, just to yap about life, philosophy, uh, art, and random other shit. 
welcome to my channel. That's it. Uh, hopefully this resonated with somebody. Uh, if not, fuck you. <laughs> okay. Thank you for watching. Bye.